Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. I hope that you guys are doing amazing. I wish you guys the very best for the coming months and make sure to remain positive. I think we are really being tested and we're going to be very tested for the coming months. So it's very important to maintain ourselves focused and positive. So I wish you guys the very best. I also want to wish you guys a happy Hallow's Eve. Anyways, let's get into your reading, Gemini. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month of October 2020. Now, your first card here is the Three of Pentacles. So I see you guys working on a project or coming together, uh, trying to achieve a specific goal or a specific um and and this could be in regards to relationships as well where you guys are coming uh together to really try to achieve or try to be able to achieve some type of goal or aspiration that you're wanting i am hearing for some of you guys it could be uh the saving of money it could be the trying to invest for some of you guys buying your first home um now, the obstacle to overcome here is the Seven of Cups. So the Seven of Cups is very sporadic, um, sorry, not sporadic, very confusing energy. I don't see you guys balanced enough. Um, it, it could be kind of like having goals and aspirations and you let the desire to manifest uh, become so strong that you kind of lose grip or lose connection with reality. So what they're telling you here is, be careful when it comes to, uh, as an example, if you're looking to purchase your first home, um, make sure to do your research on the specific home that you're trying to look for, because what they're telling me here is uh, it's like a facade. It's going to be like a facade. So it could ultimately potentially be a home that has a lot of issues that you're going to need to put money to fix. So again, be careful with that. Um, now, for others of you, the Seven of Cups could represent having a multitude of choices to make. Now, you also have the Two of Swords. So there is a refusal. There's a refusal of seeing something for what it is. For some of you guys, it could be dealing with a person that perhaps, um, for those of you guys that are single, it could be dealing with the person that you're very aware uh, is very social. And you're refusing to see a certain type of behavior or a certain type of red flag. But what they're telling you here is you got to pay attention to that Gemini. Don't allow yourself to continuously be drawn to people that are not good for you. And with the magician, what they're saying here is you're going to come out of this much more empowered. You're going to come out of this much more understanding of your nature i see you guys a bit confused okay so we have the judgment card i think for some of you guys it could be dealing with the person from the past that's coming back around or that's trying to contact you um for some of you guys especially those of you guys that are married or committed i do see a person from the past that has a tendency of being like or playing the victim role um, I see them coming back around and trying to promise or trying to prove or trying to show you something um, in like they've changed or they could be better for you because I've grown so much from the separation or from the breakup or anything like that. What they're telling you is if they're reaching out to apologize to you because they did you wrong or because they did you dirty, take that as mending the fences, but move on. Don't come back around and allow them to come into your life again, okay? You guys have to keep in mind, I have the magician, but I feel that it's more on the reverse position, and this indicates to me a person that is a charlatan. Now, for those of you guys that don't know what that means, this is a person that's very good at lying, at being deceitful. He's very, or she's very good at the way she expresses herself because she has, or he has, a tendency of really being very like meticulous and loquacious in the way they communicate they can sweet talk the shit out of people so again keep an eye out for that now you also have here the ace of cups so i definitely do see for some of you guys for this month of october there's going to be um opportunities in regards to love and romance especially those of you guys that are single but again do not open the door to people from the past. If they let you down in the past, they're going to do it again. And the reason I say that is with the Seven of Cups, this is a person that continuously promises you or tries to 
paint a picture of who they are, but they're not really that way. With the Ace of Cups, the advice in this situation is love yourself first, Gemini. Put yourself first. Take care and nurture of yourself. Then the person that is right for you will come along. When we're vibrating to a higher frequency, when we're loving ourselves, when we know our worth, no one, no one that is from a lower vibration or someone that is a fuck girl or a fuck guy is going to even come close to you and if they do they will quickly kind of dissipate or disappear because they are intimidated of people that are very uh that have very self like very high self-esteem or people that they know they their worth is what they're telling me so again um really yeah detach yourself from that type of energy you have the page of swords so i see some of you guys being stalked i see some of you guys um dealing with exes that are looking at your social medias that are looking at ways to try to communicate or try to open communication um with the page of swords this is like a stalker you know type of energy this is a person that creates fake accounts to look at your your accounts anything like that um just to see you know how you're doing in life uh again the message is the same keep yourself from that type of energy now for those of you guys that are married and you've dealt with the person from the past that has you know a tendency of being like playing the victim life is so harsh on me you know and it has nothing to do with me it's everyone else's problem keep away from that because i do see them trying to create some type of tension or trying to create some type of difficulty in your marriage and you don't want that even if it's just communicating and you see it as there's nothing wrong with that like it could backfire so just be careful with that you guys now you have the ten of cups here and the ten of cups represents your hopes uh, or fears and with the ten of cups this is a promise for happiness this is emotional fulfillment this is for those of you guys that are trying like I said to purchase or to put investments or something that you know is going to continue growing um growing gains which to me usually indicates like uh real estate it, it speaks about things that maintain their value um just be careful when making those decisions make sure that you know the people that are giving you that type of information or uh, your real estate agent or whatnot is really disclosing the issues in the home um, all of that if you do your work you're definitely going to be blessed you're definitely going to experience uh, stability and emotional fulfillment or feeling very emotionally fulfilled because a dream or a desire of yours has finally manifested and finally you have the queen of pentacles so get get advice i think for the month of october you're going to be dealing with an earth energy it could be a taurus capricorn virgo but i definitely see them really giving you good advice or really showing you the ropes in regards to either investments or even going to them if this is a close relative if this is a mother of yours uh there's a lot of healing energy that is involved here with the ten of cups and the queen of pentacles so it could be letting bygones be bygones for some of you guys it's reconnecting with a mother figure this could be your mother or this could be your grandmother or someone that was very prominent in your life that took on the role of a mother figure and i feel that they are really going to motivate you. They're really going to inspire you uh, to be able to uh, continue pushing through or to make it easier for you to manifest some type of uh, some type of goal or aspiration that you're trying to achieve, Gemini. So definitely beautiful reading. I hope you guys enjoy and we'll see each other soon. Like I said, happy Hallow's Eve and be safe out there, you guys.